Hello and welcome to Coding Demos. In this tutorial, we're going to learn how to dismiss or hide the Android soft keyboard from your Android device. So let's say, for example, you're building an app and that app involves filling a multiple edit texts. So once you fill all of these edit texts and you want to dismiss the soft keyboard, right? you would usually press on the back button that is located on your physical device in order to dismiss or hide the keyboard well in this tutorial we're going to learn another way on how we can actually dismiss that soft keyboard so to do that we're going to open up Android Studio and then what we're going to do here is we're going to go to the layout folder which is under rest layout and here what we're going to add is an two Android views Android edit text and Android button so let's add them right now so what we have is here is the edit text to allow you to input anything inside the edit text and then we have the button here which uh, has an ID as button hide and it has a text that says hide keyboard right so once you type something inside this edit text and then when you click on the hide keyboard button the soft keyboard will be hidden okay so let's go to the main activity let's close this close this and close this then open up the java folder the package and then you double click on the main activity or java so what we're going to do here is we're going to define these two views that we've just added them and then we're going to refresh them to their appropriate IDs and then what we're going to do is once you click on the button we're going to dismiss the uh, the keyboard so to do that we need to call the set on click listener for the hide button so let's do that alright so here we have the button right so let's say when you try and run the app okay bill is complete so now when you add something right let's say testing some test 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 text right and then okay I should have actually used the keyboard instead of my actual computer keyboard so let's do that again so I'm using right now the soft keyboard as shown on the on the device here so I'm going to just do some random text okay now if I want to dismiss the dialogue visually you have to click on this uh, back button so you click on that and the, that then the soft keyboard will be dismissed well now I'm going to learn another way I'm going to learn another way to dismiss that and that is by using the the on editor action method here so what is what what is this actually? So you do edit text dot on editor action. So on editor action, basically you pass in the editor action dot ime action done. This indicates that you know what Android, we're actually done with filling this form or this edit text. So you may go ahead and dismiss the dismiss or hide the soft keyboard. So what that's exactly what it means by the ime action as done. We're done with this action, so we may go ahead and dismiss or hide the soft keyboard, right? So we do that only once you actually click on the hide button. So let's give it a run and let me show you the output. Okay, so we have the output here. So I'm going to use the, the phone keyboard. So I'm going to just add some random text here. Okay. Now if I want to dismiss, I'm just going to click on or tap on the hide keyboard button and the keyboard gets dismissed. So if I want to, uh, if I want to see the keyboard again, all I have to do is click on the edit text and the keyboard is shown. That's actually the default behavior. But if you want to hide it, all you have to do is click on or tap on the hide keyboard button. Or you can still use the, the, the old method which is clicking on the back button right here and the the soft keyboard will be dismissed. And that's basically it for this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. 
and do give it a thumbs up and if you want to see more of these awesome tutorials click on the subscribe button if you have any problems with the code go ahead and send me an email and I'll do my best to help you out thanks again for watching and happy coding